Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about voltage control resistance. That means one resistance whose value is dependent on a particular voltage. That is basically one variable resistor which is dependent on a voltage. How we can make this thing by MOSFET, I will discuss in my this video. Okay, so let us start. So basically, in my previous video, I already discussed that this is the ID versus VDS graph for NMOS when the NMOS is in on state. That means when VGS is greater than equal to VT, then this is the curve for ID versus VDS. Okay, so this part is linear region when VDS is less than VGS minus VT and this part is saturation region when the current is almost remains constant if you uh, neglect the channel length modulation anyway so for the saturation region the condition is VDS is greater than VGS minus VT and the voltage the uh, VDC which is basically separating the linear and the saturation region this particular voltage this position is called as age of saturation right you know these basic things now in this video see what i am discussing just understand it carefully in triode region that means in linear region that means in this portion when vds is less than vgs minus vt what is the formula for id i already derived id equal to mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt minus vds by 2 into vds right so basically if you uh, have seen my previous video, you know that actually for this triode region or the linear region, the graph comes like this, like quadratic nature, parabolic type, uh, inverted parabola type shape. And obviously VDS is less than VGS minus VT, but we draw only the left hand side of VDS, uh, that is left hand side of this point, which is equal to VGS minus VT, because in the right hand side, and a different formula for id is applicable so we never draw the right hand side okay we draw the right hand side corresponding to the drain current equation for the saturation region and left side for the left side we follow the drain current formula for the linear region right so basically this is the original graph if you have seen my previous video you uh, can understand easily if you have not seen you just check my previous video i shall post the link in the description where i discussed what is the id versus vds graph for nmos okay we are considering nmos right now carefully observe this graph when vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt that means when drain to source potential is very very less than the age of saturation potential that means suppose consider this part in this portion vds observe the mouse pointer carefully in this portion vds is very very lesser than uh, vgs minus vt right so basically i can show you in a separate graph like this way carefully observe this portion for this portion this condition is applicable right now, if you carefully observe, uh, when VDS is very, very lesser than VGS minus VT, then the graph almost like a linear graph. Okay. I will show you by mathematical approach also. Just for the time being, you understand what I am saying. Intuitively, you can understand. If you take very small value for a VDS, then it will look like almost linear. So if you plot this portion separately, you will find that this is almost a linear curve. Okay, ID versus VDS variation. Okay, almost linearly ID varies. But mathematically, I can prove also that ID versus VDS variation is almost linear. And VDS is much greater, uh, much lesser than VGS minus VT. See how. You know that for the linear or triad region, ID equal to mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT minus VDS by 2 into VDS, right? Now, when VDS is very, very lesser than VGS minus VT, then obviously this term, which is equal to VDS minus VDS by 2, so as VDS is... As VDS itself is very very lesser than VGS minus VT, so obviously VDS by 2 will be far lesser than VGS minus VT, right? So basically we can neglect the VGS, sorry, we can neglect the VDS by 2 term with respect to VGS minus VT term, okay? And we can approximately write the drain current for uh, the uh, 
prior region as this that is id approximately equal to u n into c o x into w by l into v g s minus v t into v d s right because this is applicable we have assumed this condition now see carefully observe this if you consider the original mother expression or mother equation of the prior region a drain current for the time region this is non linear but if you see this approximate uh, drain current equation then see id that is linearly with vds right so basically we can use this linear approximation so obviously we can conclude by mathematical approach also that when vds is very less compared to vgs minus vt id that is almost linearly with respect to drain to source potential fine so i hope up to this you have got the clear idea now see for when vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt we got this equation i equal to some constant into v okay and what do you know from ohm's law v is equal to ir right so i is equal to 1 by r into v right so now you just compare this equation and this equation and from compare from comparison of these two equation it is quite clear that 1 by r equal to mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt right so basically we can say r equal to 1 by mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt that means what that means that when vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt then drain current varies almost linearly with respect to vds and the resistance offered by uh, the mosfet at that condition is this r equal to 1 by mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt if r is basically obviously in between drain and source right plus id flows in between drain and source right so obviously this resistance will be also present in between drain and source no need to confuse with drain and gate and source and gate like that or source and body etc no need to think only drain and source whatever we are considering with respect to drain and source only right so basically equivalent circuit in vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt is basically one resistor nothing else and see the speciality of the resistance this r is not a fixed resistance it depends on the vgs value that is applied gate to source potential uh, dependent uh, what how much voltage you are applying in the gate dependent on that the r value will vary that means this resistance is basically voltage dependent okay that's what mosfet in when vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt mosfet will act like a resistor which is voltage dependent okay see one more thing i will say you that this condition when vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt it is deep diode region why it is quite clear intuitively you can clearly understand see this portion when vds is lesser than vgs minus vt that is the left hand side of the edge of saturation point obviously we are considering this is tight region and we are considering when vds is much lesser than vgs minus vt so obviously we can say that is intuitively we can say that is deep triode right for triode the formula is vds is less than vgs minus vt so for deep deep triode we can say vds much lesser than vgs minus vt right basically this condition uh, when this condition is applicable we say the circuit is in deep triode region okay so basically we say that the equivalent circuit for the mosfet in the deep triode region is given by just we test the mosfet by a resistor whose value will depend on the gate applied gate to source potential thus it is quite clear for the from the formula itself that r is dependent on vgs okay fine now let us try to have some application of this concept until you apply your theoretical concept in some practical field or in some design purpose you will not uh, feel uh, the proper concept okay to get the feeling uh, of a particular concept you should apply it uh, somewhere either in numerical or in multi sim or in matlab or in practical hardware circuit etc etc okay So basically, see how we can apply the equivalent circuit for deep triode region, and how we can model some mathematical expression from this. Let us try to observe. Already in my previous video, I have explained you that this is nothing but one 
N was inverted. Okay. When V input is high, V output is low. When V input is low, V output is high. And you can see the transfer function, transfer characteristics graph for uh, this particular circuit is drawn here. Initially, the MOSFET is in cutoff, then saturation, then linear. Okay. And from the graph itself, it is clear that this is acting as an inverter. Now, see, consider the linear region. I have discussed in the theoretical manner, I have not uh, discussed any mathematical approach when I was uh, discussing the explanation of the NMOS inverter circuit. Now, let us try to uh, build one mathematical expression for the V out in the linear region. Okay, that is in this region, let us try to build one relation. So, V output expression for the NMOS inverter in linear region. See, basically as I told you, when the NMOS is in deep triode or linear region also you can say, then we can replace the NMOS by one voltage dependent resistor. That R is equal to 1 by mu n into Cx into W by L into Vgs minus Vt. So, the equivalent circuit now becomes look like this. Now, what is the V out? Obviously, it is quite clear from the circuit itself, from the basic network theory concept we can say, basically V output is the voltage divider rule we have to apply and we can get V output as VDD into R by R plus RD where R is the resistance offered by the MOSFET when it is in deep triode region. Okay. We are considering that uh, this MOSFET is in deep triode that is in linear we are considering again it is in deep triode so that we can substitute by equivalent model. Now simply uh, divide uh, the numerator and denominator by R. And we can get this expression right very easy to understand now simple very simple just replace the r expression that is r equal to 1 by mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt right just replace that expression and we can get this equation okay now if you modify this expression you can get v output uh, for the nmos inverter in the deep triode region is given by v output equal to vdd into 1 by 1 plus mu n into cox into w by l into rt into vgs minus vt okay so this is the mathematical expression for the output voltage for the nmos inverter in the deep triad region and from this mathematical expression itself also you can clearly understand that when vgs increases v output will decrease and already in my previous video i discussed that for this particular nmos inverter the vgs is nothing but the input so basically, as we can see from the mathematical expression, as the VGS increases, V output decreases. That means we can say when V input increases, V output will decrease. That's what happening in the linear region graph. See, as the V input is increasing, see V output is decreasing. I shall zoom it for you. See, when V input is increasing, observe the mouse pointer, V output is decreasing. Okay, fine. So this is how you can uh, use the resistance offered by the MOSFET for a deep triad region for uh, the mathematical modeling of this circuit related to MOSFET in linear region. Okay, so this is all for my this video. Please check the description to check all my previous videos. I shall give the link so that you have no confusion with these concepts because these are very important con concepts and these are basic building block for semiconductor device and circuit, analog electronic circuit and obviously VLSI. Okay, thank you for watching. For more videos related to electronics and communication engineering, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. And if you find this video helpful, please like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.